So it's Leticia Hubert of France who will go after the leaders with her effort here in the free skate. In third place, she controls her own destiny. If she wins this portion of the event, she's the overall winner and will take home the gold medal. She has been so up and down in her career and is 20th at the Olympics. so inconsistent throughout her career. We've seen her have terrific nights. This season, she beat Tara Lipinski at Trophy La Ligue. Saw her in 92 at the Olympics when they called her the human Zamboni. She fell six times. Ah, double instead of a triple Salco. Kind of nicely done to the music. Straight line footwork. The 20th place effort at the Olympics this year did not sit well with the French Federation. They won't allow her coach, Don Roland Rocco, in the training rink anymore. <laughs> they have to go to the outskirts of Paris to train. <laughs> That's uh, uh, what we call control. The one thing I will say is many of the World Skating Association don't recognize the fact that the skater might sometimes know what is best for themselves and that they really cannot control artistry and artistic temperament. Now that was a nice triple flip jump. This is not a successful spin combination. It's almost coming to a standstill. Now that would have been one of the few triple-triple combinations that we have seen, but as you saw, the second one didn't work. Leticia Hubert was so discouraged with her performance at the Olympics that it appeared as though she almost stopped in the middle of her performance. This a final move, a double axle. Well, that was just not up to par for her either. And that will, that will take care of her third place, I think. Trying to hold on to that medal. We'll see if she can do that for the moment, at least. When we come back.
Back with Leticia Hubert of France, her coach on the right, who's been banished from their training facility in Paris. They've got to go to the suburbs. But look at this. In one of her moves, how close her blade came to the side of the rink. Now, that's just a, a really sloppiness on the part of the skaters. They have to pull themselves away from it. It's something they don't want to do. It's like, if there's a vacuum, let's fill it. Let's go all the way to the edge. Mm -hmm. No matter the size. This is actually an NHL rink, which is about 85 feet wide, and the normal Olympic rinks are about 100 feet wide. It could be another 200 feet. They'd still go all the way to the edge, particularly in the Lutz jumps. <laughs> It, 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 I guess it's called human nature. Now, we talked about Leticia Rivera in third place trying to hang on to a medal position. The judges have taken a long time to decide this. The first set of marks. Well, very interesting. Oh, look at these marks. Now, I'm afraid I, I don't understand this at all. Uh, those are strong, those are strong uh, marks in comparison particularly to Anna Reshnio. Five, and they're that. stronger five, than Anna Reshnio. And it puts five, her in, sec five, in second five, place. Five, but look at that, five, Japan, five, a fourth, a fourth, a fifth, and a fourth from Canada. Um, there is some difference Ukraine. there. It's a pleasure to introduce now Reshnio in third Reshnio. place, making a phone call, getting a few hugs, sticking around to see if...